Hey there, hi. My national radio show airs on over 500 radio stations in total. Okay, maybe you still listen to it, but something changed, you moved, you got busy, whatever. That's why I want to remind you why it's the best show out there. It's the biggest show. So I'm going to let you listen to a recent show. Now, the Kim Commando Show is not Kim Commando today. It's just me and callers and tech news and tips. You're just going to love it. Now, if you like what you hear, you can get the Kim Commando Show on your local radio station or get the Kim Commando Show as a commercial-free podcast. Yes, I said a commercial-free podcast in two places. One, if you're on Team Apple, subscribe to the Kim Commando Show on Apple Podcasts. Team Android, you can listen to the show as part of your Commando community membership. You can sign up now at community.commando.com. That's community.commando.com. Okay, enjoy the show. Yeah, I can't believe it's back. I'm talking about the Facebook poke. You remember that button that you would reach out to poke somebody virtually, I don't know, maybe 10 years or more? Well, it's back. Here's the reason why Gen Zers. Turns out that 18 to 29-year-olds, they have rediscovered the joy of Poking, that's right. Uh, Poking activity on Facebook has jumped, are you ready for it? 1,300%. Wow, that's huge. When you start thinking about it, Facebook is kind of like jail, right? You sit around, you waste a whole bunch of time, you write on walls, and you get poked by people you don't know. And on that happy note, welcome, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. It's called the Kim Commando Show. It's the nation's largest, biggest, best, most trusted source for all things digital. I'm, of course, Kim Commando, America's beloved digital goddess, here with you once again. Because, after all, every single thing is now a tech thing. And you can find my award-winning show in over 420 top stations throughout the United States. You can also get us as a podcast, as a webcast over inside the Commando community. Just head over to commando.com and hit that big old button that says community. Get a 30-day free trial and you get the show commercial free. And a big hello and salute goes out to all of our listeners on the American Forces Network Radio, reaching over 375,000 American servicemen and women in 175 countries and 200 ships at sea get the Kim Commando Show. Just love that. All right. I need two things from each and every one of you. Number one, the best way, the fastest way for us to continue to grow the show is for you to tell just one person about it. And number two, tell me what you want to know more about. Head over to commando.com and hit that button that says email Kim. All righty. Every single day, I visit at least 35, sometimes 40 different websites to make sure we're both up to date in the tech universe. And here are the top five things you need to know that are happening right now. And how about your iPhone? That's where we're going to start. And I love my iPhone. I use it for work. I use it for pleasure. I I sit there and I scroll on Instagram. I take photos and videos. I mean, when I'm traveling, I no longer even carry a separate camera. I just take photos and videos with my iPhone. Here's the problem. A lot of people are saying that Apple is what? A monopoly because they make it difficult to use their iPhone and their iDevices with Say people who are not on iPhones or iDevices. Like, for example, let's look at Android owners. You're going to text somebody who's an Android. You don't get that beautiful blue bubble, do you? No, you're degraded into green. And that's one of the reasons why the U.S. government is suing Apple in a big time antitrust lawsuit. It says that the iPhone has a monopoly over the smartphone market, not because Apple makes its own products better. This is the key, but it makes other products worse. Now, they do have a point. But speaking of sales, the last quarter of 2023, listen to this number. Oh, my gosh. Apple owned 61% of the smartphone sales. 61%. Wow. Uh, Moving on to number two, who's going to buy TikTok? The Communist China app is going to be banned in the U.S. unless, Unless, of course, an American company buys it. I mean, I would if I could. 170 million Americans on it. Dang. So who's in the running? Former Treasury Secretary Steve Mnuchin. I guess apparently he's talking to the Arabs. Uh, There's Rumble. The company wrote a letter to the CEO of TikTok, Mr. Chu. Uh, Former Activision Blizzard CEO Bobby Kotick. uh, He wants him. Uh, Kevin O'Leary. Actually, Kevin O'Leary was on ABC News this, this past week. Here's what he had to say about it. So think of it in two stacks. One is the 170 million users and the brand name TikTok. So that's valuable. But not that valuable if you don't get the algorithms which give you the preferences and history of those users. And so what's being proposed, at least it's being speculated, is that the algorithm is not for sale. Okay, that's key. The algorithm is not for sale. Well, you know, they can always make that up in time. But uh, Microsoft and Oracle, they supposedly said no in the past. So how much is TikTok worth? 
I've seen numbers anywhere from $40 billion to $200 billion. Uh, moving on to number three, glass doors and glass holes. That's right. I've said this so many times. Nothing you do online is ever really anonymous. And that's what people are finding out who have posted these nasty, fake, anonymous reviews on Glassdoor. I mean, they thought they would be anonymous, but not anymore. You see, Glassdoor attracts so many disgruntled former employees. They leave the most scathing, untrue stories about former, current companies and bosses. There's just one problem. Glassdoor is now requiring that all users register their real names in order to post reviews. So, so many people on the internet are having a complete meltdown because they've been leaving all these nasty reviews. Trust me, I've been the subject of many of them. So, yes, you can still choose to remain anonymous. But for the first time, Glassdoor is going to have real names on file. You know what that means? Names can be subpoenaed if a business decides to sue. Uh, Moving on to number four, if you have a VPN and you are marketing one, now's the time to start advertising in Texas. Why? Pornhub has been blocked in Texas over a new age verification law that requires folks to show a government-issued ID in order to use the site. How do they restrict this? By using something called GeoBlock. It uses a person's IP address to see which states can access a website. So Texas, like, whoop, shut it down. They're not alone. Arkansas, Louisiana, Mississippi, Montana, North Carolina, Texas, Utah, and Virginia have already done this. So how do you get around this? Uh, you use a VPN and the searches for VPNs in Texas have soared more than 1700%. Wow. Uh, Finally, this coming in number five, where is Kate Middleton? I'm sure you've seen the news. Kensington Palace announced that Kate would be off of her duties until after Easter because she had abdominal surgery. And then there was that picture that came out. Then Reuters and all the other huge news agencies said, we can't run this because it's been altered. And then Kate Middleton went to Twitter to say, oh, I like to experiment with Photoshop like a lot of other people. So now conspiracy theories are going wild. Number one, people say she's dead. She passed away. Two, King Charles is dead. Three, she's getting divorced. Four, she got a Brazilian butt lift. I saw that. Five, she got sick from using Ozempic. No, the woman's a rail. She has always been a rail. Then there's the whole farmer's market video and somebody said it was a body double in there. I know. We all want to see the real Kate, not the duplicate. All right, coming up, we're going to talk about some deep fakes that are using some family members and friends' voices you need to be warned about. And also sharing passwords. Is that a good idea? offline maps when you're traveling and of course we have all of your great phone calls and you have me kim commander do you ever look at your bank balance and wonder where your money went with all the subscriptions these days it's easy to forget everything that you're paying for that's why i use rocket money to do it for me rocket money is a personal finance app that finds and cancels your unwanted subscriptions monitors your spending, and helps lower your bills so that you can grow your savings. I used Rocket Money to save almost $500. Rocket Money gives me a clear view of my expenses. They will even negotiate to lower your bills by up to 20%. Just submit a photo of the bill and Rocket Money takes care of the rest. Rocket Money has over 5 million users and has saved a total of $500 million in canceled subscriptions, saving members up to $740 a year when using all the app's features. Stop wasting money on things you don't use. Cancel your unwanted subscriptions by going to rocketmoney.com slash Kim. That's rocketmoney.com slash Kim, rocketmoney.com slash Kim. Hey, I'm giving away a $500 Amazon gift card. Yes, I am. And I want to give you 500 bucks. Here's how you enter to win. You go to winfromkim.com, winfromkim.com. And that's where you can enter to win a $500 Amazon gift card. Now, what's the catch? You have to get one issue. That's it. Just one issue of my free newsletter. That's it. Again, winfromkim.com, winfromkim.com. All right. How about we start with Jim in Sacramento, California? Well, first of all, I wanted to uh, thank you over the years for all your good advice and newsletters and on the radio as well. I wanted to share with you one story. I took some of your information and shared it with my computer user clients. This one client called me and said, hey, um, will you come over and look at this computer? Um, 
my husband uh, allowed somebody to come in and control my computer or control his computer. And what happened was he was in the middle of this session with this guy. The guy wanted $500. It was a scam, basically. And the wife walks in and says, hey, what are you doing? And he says, oh, I, I let this person come in to my computer, fix my computer. And the wife says, stop, turn it all off. <laughs> Don't do that. <laughs> and uh, then I got to come over there and clean up their computer a little bit <laughs> wow. and the entry points and things. But I wanted to thank you because giving that information out to my clients was save them lots of trouble, lots awesome. of money over the years so i just wanted to appreciate that oh thanks for your words that's that's really sweet of you to tell me that that makes my day jim so what's going on now um well i'm i'm dealing with uh some of your newsletters is talking about cryptocurrency and different ways that different people have come along and uh scammed other people and that type of thing and so i'm kind of in a quandary. One day I say this is real. Another day I say it's not real. So this is the situation is I was friended by a lady at um, on Facebook and uh, she a very nice lady in this type of thing and we're just talking about general things and stuff and she said, hey, I have an aunt that's really good at cryptocurrency. And I said, oh, okay. So I'm also reading your newsletter and saying, hey, watch out for this situation. Right. And she wanted to go get me on WhatsApp and that type of thing. And uh, I did end up going online or with the app line. And uh, and, and so anyway, I was saying, okay, well, okay, I'll throw 10K at it. And that type of thing, is that going to be enough for your aunt to, to help with? And she says, well, I don't know. And so then my wife, I talked about, these things with my wife. my wife. My wife says, wait a minute, our money, we're in retirement. We don't need to be gambling with money. Um, let's, let's not do that. So, but I had already talked to the lady about the cause. It was for help, helping youth. And uh, she ends up going and saying, well, um, I'll just give you $5,000 in your account. And so I said, okay. So I went through with the aunt and with the $5,000 of her money, I'm playing with her money, not my money, and went through three iterations with the aunt, and now it's, you know, it's $500 per session, basically, I, I gained, and about 15% interest in a matter of 10 minutes' time. So, you know, I saw the things, it's not video, it's, it's actually in my account, I could withdraw it at any moment, but my question is, is, um, is this real or is this something that is set up just to lure people in and say, okay, now give me $20,000, give me $100,000, and then it somehow, it somehow disappears or that type of thing? Oh, Jim. Jim. Yes. Jim, 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 Jim. Oh, I just want to come smack your wrist with a ruler. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> well, that's fine. But- uh, I mean, come on. You really think, okay, first of all, some woman just doesn't friend you online because she's like, oh, I think I would like Jim to be my buddy. Okay, that's number one. Number okay. two, we're going to go on to WhatsApp. Okay, because, okay, okay there's not going to be any video calls. We have an aunt who's really good at crypto. I mean, this is this is right down what you're telling me in the newsletter that Wait a minute. This is this sounds awful familiar, but okay. But you're falling for it. Oh my gosh, buddy, you're Uh, falling for it. What are you doing? Come on, you have to be smarter than this. Okay, what's happening in the background is that they are fabricating all of this just to show you. It could even be just a video that they play over and over for somebody so that it looks like they're doing all these trades. Well, it isn't okay. So it's it's not okay. No, I'm just. You know, I, I'm still playing with back and forth, but I'm saying I, I'm thinking that too. I mean, in being in the computer industry for over 30 years, I, I understand that a lot of things are faked and that type of thing. But I'm saying this person is writing contracts. Now, I don't know whether you are you familiar with contracts of bit, bit currency? Yes, yes, very much so. Okay, so they're writing a contract supposedly for me. I am buying the contracts, paying $120 per contract. And um, I am watching in 10 minutes time or something, 
my money go or make an income of maybe five hundred, six hundred dollars um, each time in a matter of fifteen minutes. Okay, that let me thing. tell you, I'm just going to cut to the chase. You can go, you can justify this to me all day long and tell me how great okay. it's going to be. And I'm going to tell you right now, you are in the middle of a pig butchering scam. Okay, and what it is, it's a pig. You are the pig. You're getting greedy. Right. Okay. And you're seeing this and you're like, oh, wow, I just made this much. I just made this much. I just made this much. Okay, here. Yes. Okay. So then you go to your wife and go, okay, how about instead of 5,000, we're going to do 15,000 because look how much money I just made. And then you're going to make a little bit more. Okay, well, why don't we just give them 100 grand? Let's just give them 100 grand. Okay. Right. Before you know it, you're sitting at the craps table and you're going to have crap at the end because you're not going to have anything. And then you're going to be calling me saying, I should have listened to you, Kim Commando. I should have done this. I should have not given them the money. Everything was a big scam. Everything was set up. That account was all bogus. Everything is bogus. You got to be smarter than this, Jim. You got to be smarter. Okay. You got to walk away. You got to get whatever money you, you, you can out right now and then unfriend this person, block this person, get out of WhatsApp. Oh, my gosh. And you need to move on. You can't be a dope in life. And you know this, you've been in the computer industry, you said, for 30 years. You know how easy it is to fabricate things. Even Bitcoin contracts can be fabricated to make it look like whatever they're showing you is totally legit. It's not. I'm sorry to say that. You need to just walk away. You need to get whatever you can, shut it down, block the person, don't fall for it again. Because they're coming after you. Because they're thinking you're a pig. You're smart. And you want to spend money? You want to throw money at something? Throw it at that beautiful bride. Go take her to dinner. At least you'll get something back for your money, her warmth and her love and her appreciation. Thanks for your call. Sometimes you just got to call it out. Now, only one in three Americans know that online shops use your device's location to raise and lower prices on their products. Okay? Yeah, they do. If you live in an expensive neighborhood, you're going to pay more. And if you live in a lower priced neighborhood, you might not be showing all the same goods. So here's what you do. You can get around this by using a VPN or you can use sites like Price Grabber and Google to take a look at cost of things all over the web. And number three, if you have Chrome, make sure you use Keepa. It's a really powerful extension. If you need more information on any of this, we have it free for the taking over at commando.com. Stay right where you are. We have more of your phone calls and tips coming up. You don't want to miss. Do you ever look at your bank balance and wonder where your money went? With all the subscriptions these days, it's easy to forget everything that you're paying for. That's why I use Rocket Money to do it for me. Rocket Money is a personal finance app that finds and cancels your unwanted subscriptions, monitors your spending, and helps lower your bills so that you can grow your savings. I used Rocket Money to save almost $500. Rocket Money gives me a clear view of my expenses. They will even negotiate to lower your bills by up to 20%. Just submit a photo of the bill and Rocket Money takes care of the rest. Rocket Money has over 5 million users and has saved a total of 500 million in canceled subscriptions, saving members up to $740 a year when using all the app's features. Stop wasting money on things you don't use. Cancel your unwanted subscriptions by going to rocketmoney.com slash kim. That's rocketmoney.com slash Kim, rocketmoney.com slash Kim. All right, coming up in just a few minutes, we have our security tip. We're going to talk about some deep fakes. And of course, we have all of your great phone calls. But before we get to that, let's talk about offline maps, because so many of us are going to be traveling this time of year, even as the summer travel season is truly just right around the corner. Now, before you hit the road, I want you to make sure that you save your Apple or Google Maps directions for what's called offline use. This will save your bacon in case you're in an area that you need directions, but you have no cell connection. Now, for Google Maps, you start by searching for your destination, then tap the name or the location, and then look for this more option. It's that three-dot menu. I know, it's called the more option. Uh, And you hit that, and then you're going to select download offline map. And now with Apple Maps, believe it or not, they just recently added this feature. So you're going to search for your destination. You're going to hit that more option again and download the map for offline use. Now, if you're traveling overseas and you're trying to avoid all those roaming charges, expensive data charges, just remember that tip. Download the offline maps. All right. During the week, not only do I prep and prepare for this show and do our daily tech update and digital life hack, but we also do a 
fabulous video podcast called Kim Commando Today. Monday, Wednesday, Friday, we're live just about everywhere. I'm talking about Facebook, YouTube, Rumble, or X, uh, Kim Commando, everywhere. And this past week, I had the opportunity to speak to this an amazing gentleman, of course, with An- Andrew Babinski, my co-host in that podcast. Uh, here, take a listen. All right. So there's Clippy. Do you remember Clippy? Of course. He was the office assistant introduced in Office 97. I remember my first time seeing Clippy. We were using the you know word office documents, and it pops up. You're like, oh, that thing's kind of helpful. It, okay. Kind of yeah, bounced could, in there. I could do that. And then he pops up again, and then he pops up again, and then he pops up again, and then you're screaming at your computer because you want this stupid thing to go away. Did you just say this word stupid? Stupid. Clippy stupid. I don't know. can't believe you said that because we're... We have the guy who invented it. You don't think he thinks after all these years, Clippy's stupid? That'll be my first question. Well, joining us is Kevin Atbury, the designer behind Clippy. Oh, there's Clippy. Clippy. Yes, the designer behind Clippy. Uh, And you had to go through, what, 260 designs for Clippy? Is that what I heard? Yes, 240, 260, something like that. And so, um, Um, Andrew had a question. You want to start with that question? Yeah, just really quick. And this (laughs) is like a broad question. Uh, At this point in your life, do you think Clippy's stupid? I, I don't think he's stupid. I think he's um, he's just Clippy. <laughs> he's just, <laughs> he's just Clippy. He's, 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 not, um, he's not bright enough to be stupid. That's fair. Okay, so how did this come down? I mean, somebody at Microsoft and the whole development team said, you know, this is brand new. We need to help people use the software better, easier. And so what if we could have like an intuitive tool that could be that could be right there on the user screen that would be accessible 24 seven. And that would just help them out. Well, it, it actually uh, started with um, a, a piece of software called Microsoft Bob. I don't know if you remember that. Oh God, that was um, a loser. That, that was, that was the biggest crash I can ever even think of with Microsoft. Um, we had designed these, these, uh, um, these desktops, animated desktops uh, for people that were just learning to use the computer and um, we were designing, we designed characters uh, and different environments and stuff like that. It was just a, a lot of uh, a graphic, um, a, a big graphic interface that they're trying to run on, you know, like four megabytes of memory or eight. And they eventually brought it up to eight megabytes of memory. Yes. Um, big and time. then so, so, and they d- did this huge push uh, at CSE and, um, uh, you know, just spent a lot of money and they had this grand unveiling like they do. And, um, you know, immediately started getting just horrible reviews and it crashed and it just was not stable and stuff. But and so they, you know, they they trashed the the software eventually. Not It didn't. Take, I mean, probably less than a year. But they liked the technology of the little characters that would come out and help, you know, new computer users use a computer. And, you know, somebody said, let's um, take that over to office. And they did. And uh, so I started, we started designing characters for weeks and months and uh, had about, like I said, about 240, 200. I can't remember exactly how many there were, but there was like maybe uh, 20 designers, uh, including myself, uh, designing characters. And then they, we had a couple of uh, professors from Stanford. That was what they did. They came and they tested the characters with, with, uh, with people and uh, looking for the ones that, you know, were the most likable, the most trustworthy, uh, the, the, the least offensive. And Clippy rose to the top as uh, the favorite uh, character. Now, I saw a TikTok video. It would be nice if you could confirm or deny this, that with the engineers and the mucky mucks inside of Microsoft, Clippy had a different name uh, that went, went by initials TFC. <laughs> right. T standing for that, C standing for clown, and F, just pick an F word you want to go ahead and place there. Is that fearless. true? That fearless clown. Fearless. Um, that fearless yes, clown. Is there is, there is uh, I, I may be wrong on this, but I think that that uh, that nickname came from the very top. Ooh, I, really? I think, Bill, I think Bill may have uh, uh, come up with that. That's it seems to me I, I recollect that, and then everybody else uh, adopted it. Followed suit. I mean, yeah. When I Bill see Gates how he is coming that. up, with everybody's like, "Yeah, you're right. He is a clown. Bill's right. He is a clown." <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now, did Clippy open any doors for you professionally? Yes, I uh, I got paid, you know, pretty good for for the you know creating them and stuff. Um, but the real value was uh, how many doors he opened for me. 
but it took a long time. It took me. I um I would not say that I created them uh, at the start. I was um, <laughs> yeah, everybody hated them. <laughs> everybody hated them, and uh, uh, I, I was embarrassed of it. And you know, every time time you saw it in the press everywhere, you know, people talking about how much they hate him, what it what an annoyance he was, and stuff like that. So I didn't put them in my portfolio at all when I was you know wow to work. Yeah, once I realized that you know all press is good press. You know, they started saying, you know, yeah, I created them. People say, you know, I hate that. I hate that paperclip. He drives me crazy. And they go, oh, Clippy, I created them. And they go, oh, that's so cool. <laughs> <laughs> so have you had any other successes like Clippy? Oh, no, nothing. Nothing compares to Clippy. Clippy's world renowned. I mean, and now that he's not in the software, people love him. He's this this really kind of fun meme or, or whatever. And, and he's, you know, on all these TV shows and, uh, you know, it's a, a usually the, as a butt of a joke, but, you know, people love, love Clippy now and people, nobody hates them like they did. No, when, it's nostalgia. It, it absolutely is. is. It is nostalgia. Comfort yeah. food for the internet it is. and computing. Yeah. I get things every day. People send me from around, around the country, around the world of, uh, you know, where Clippy has been used as, as some kind of gag. Well, but you know what? Like you said, any press is good press. Absolutely. Right. Kevin, thanks for being here. Telling us the story about Clippy. My pleasure. Thanks for having me. Clippy. Once again, you can catch the video podcast everywhere. Facebook, YouTube, Rumble, X, all slash Kim Commando. Now, if you are more of an audio person because you like to take me on the go, you don't want to watch a video. Totally get that. Wherever you get your audio podcast, just search for Kim Commando today. That's Kim Commando today with a K, of course. All right, let's talk about deep fakes. Oh, it's so scary. Your phone rings, and on the other line is your child, your spouse, your parent. Their voice is shaking. They said that they've been abducted, and they need ransom money right now. So, of course, our first instinct is to do whatever we can to get them safe, right? But here's the thing. Scammers are now using deep fake technology to fake your kids' voices and, of course, anybody else in the family. They grab a video off of social media they run it through some clever software, and then suddenly they can sound just like your child, your relative. So what are you going to do if you get one of these scary phone calls? Number one, I want you to create a secret word, code, phrase with your child, uh, with your parents, something that only the two of you know. So if you ask for the code and the caller dodges the question, that's your red flag right there. Two, try calling the phone number directly of your child, of your parents. They pick up, you know it's bogus. Three, get the authorities in the loop. Dial 911. Of course, try not to panic, but that's exactly what the scammers are banking on. All right, still to come, we have more of your phone calls and some great tips you never, ever want to miss here on the Kim Commando Show. Do you ever look at your bank balance and wonder where your money went? With all the subscriptions these days, it's easy to forget everything that you're paying for. That's why I use Rocket Money to do it for me. Rocket Money is a personal finance app that finds and cancels your unwanted subscriptions, monitors your spending, and helps lower your bills so that you can grow your savings. I used Rocket Money to save almost $500. Rocket Money gives me a clear view of my expenses. They will even negotiate to lower your bills by up to 20%. Just submit a photo of the bill and Rocket Money takes care of the rest. Rocket Money has over 5 million users and has saved a total of $500 million in canceled subscriptions, saving members up to $740 a year when using all the app's features. Stop wasting money on things you don't use. Cancel your unwanted subscriptions by going to rocketmoney.com slash Kim. That's rocketmoney.com slash Kim, rocketmoney.com slash Kim. All right, just a quick reminder that if you have not already, make sure that you enter to win that $500 Amazon gift card. Yes, I want to give you, dear one, 500 bucks to spend on Amazon for anything that you want. Now, this is a short contest. It's a limited time, so make sure that you enter to win right now. Go to the special address, winfromkim.com. Once again, that's winfromkim.com, winfromkim.com. Now, the catch you have to at least get one issue of my newsletter. Okay, not a bad trade-off. You're going to love it anyway. It's easy to subscribe. It's easy to unsubscribe. Again, that address, winfromkim.com. All right, Steve in San Francisco, California. Hi there, Steve. Yes, I've been listening to you for, I'm sure, decades. And I love your voice and I love your advice. And um, I'm just retired military back in September of 23. And I've been going to school, um, getting my a AS degree, 
And now I'm working on my bachelor's degree. Beautiful. Congratulations. And, That's awesome. Yeah, and the VA's, VA is really helping me out with that. And um, so I've got a couple of quick questions sure. for you. Um, one of them is I've got an old Chrome laptop. Well, first of all, I'm going to be going out of state for about a year. Okay. And um, I need something to, uh, I need a good laptop for one. I've got an old Chrome that's been through like three deployments. And two is I need to access like my home C drive Mm -hmm. from uh, my new location, temporary new, new, new location. So those are my two questions for you. Well, let's let's tackle number two first. Okay. Okay. Um, so you want to be able to access everything that's on the C drive. Okay. Yes. Well, there are two ways you can do it. Number one, you can install uh, remote viewing software. Uh, there's a program called Team Viewer that Team Viewer. that allows you to access remotely, you know, the drive. But the problem is, and because you're gonna be gone for a long time, is that you have to set the power settings on the computer to never let the computer sleep. Never. Uh, and so that might be a bit of a hassle, right? So, okay. um, so what you can do is probably you don't need everything on the C drive. Uh, what I would do is set up a Google drive and just upload whatever files that I might need. Cause I, I mean, you don't need the operating system. You don't need the programs. I mean, you just need the data, right? Yes. Okay, so so just set up Google Drive, and then you can set it up to sync that those particular folders. Maybe it's your name, your sign-in profile for the whole computer. And then you can put, then you're going to sync everything, and you're going to put all that on Google Drive. And depending upon the data, it might cost you a couple of bucks a month, you know, how many gigabytes, terabytes you might have. Uh, and then, but this way, wherever you are, is that you're not limited to go and sign into a remote computer to look at your files. Everything's just right in the cloud. And then you'd have the Google Drive app on your phone. So if you're not near a computer, you just have your phone, you can tap into it that way. It just makes life a lot easier. This The remote stuff really works well when you're trying to fix something. Like you're trying to, because you know how that is, trying to fix somebody computer remotely, and you're like saying like go to start, go to control panel until you're ready to pull your hair out, right? Uh, Because... It's just so frustrating. So these tools like TeamViewer, that's when that's when really when they come into play. Uh, but if these are just files that you need remotely while you're away from California for a year or so, is that that's where you want to put them up on Google Drive. And then again, you can sync it now while you're there. And then as you start using it, it will just keep updating. And then when you get back after a year, you can sync that whole drive back to your drive. So, so, so you're not losing anything. Uh, now, as far as the laptop... What I want to do is point you over to uh, commando.com slash laptop finder uh, because what it does, it kind of, we walk you through various uh, steps on what type of laptop that you really want to buy. And then we have recommendations that our IT geniuses keep up to date all the time. So it starts out, you know, do you want Windows, Mac, Chromebook? Uh, what do you need it to do? What size screen that you want? And what's your budget? You know, so it walks you through like 10 basic questions. Uh, but we all work really hard to make sure that that laptop finder quiz is just exactly where it's at. And then you, then we dump you out of that quiz. And thank you. There'll probably be a more graceful way of saying that. I'm sorry. (laughs) Uh, We end the quiz. How about that? We end the quiz with about, you know, two or three different makes and models that you can take a look at, uh, whether it's on Amazon, Best Buy, you know, wherever the best price is. And so again, that's the laptop finder quiz. I put you on hold and Amber will give you the exact address, but I think it's commando.com slash laptop hyphen finder. I think that's what it is. Uh, or you could just search for over at the website for laptop finder quiz. Uh, Steve, thank you for your service to our country and congrats on that degree. Uh, and go get that doctorate because then you can be Dr. Steve. That's awesome. Hey, by the way, if you ever have a question for me here on the show or you want me to answer in one of our newsletters or on the website, uh, best place for you to do that. I know you like to leave me questions all over social media, but I'm like overwhelmed in that. Uh, if you head over to commando.com, that's K-O-M-A-N-D-O, commando.com. 
There's a link that says email Kim. Yes, that's where the magic happens. I read every single note that you send to me. Now, if you'd like to actually speak to me here on the show, we can always schedule that appointment right right with you so you don't have to sit there on hold for hours like a lot of other people do. So it's really super convenient. Head over to commando.com and hit that link that says email Kim. Hey, I just want to remind you that you can get the Kim Commando Show commercial free on Apple Podcasts as well as Spotify. That's Apple Podcasts and Spotify. Costs just a few bucks a month, but you do get it commercial free. Or you can get it as a perk of your membership inside the Commando community. Head over to commando.com and hit that link that says community. All right, let's switch gears just a little bit. Do you share your password with your spouse, your girlfriend, or your boyfriend? Uh, As it turns out, you're not alone. Pew Research says that about 75% of people in committed relationships here in the U.S. have handed over their smartphone passwords to their partners. But what happens if the romance goes south? Well. Breaking up is hard to do, especially if you share passwords. Not to say we don't want to have one of those crazy exes that goes on a digital rampage or starts stalking. But what's the move if your ex does know your passcodes? Step one, not rocket scientists, change all the passwords. We're talking about everything from Hulu to your email to your social media accounts, the subscriptions and services that you both used, Amazon Prime. What about your smart thermostats, lights, security systems, garage doors, and your Wi-Fi? Don't forget to update every single password and setting too. If your ex had access, it's a good time to just revoke everything. And don't forget 24-7, hit me up at commando.com. Well, wasn't that great? I know you loved it. And just a reminder, you can get my show on your local radio station or get the Kim Commando Show as a commercial-free podcast in two places. Number one, Team Apple. Sign up over at Apple Podcasts. Just search for Kim Commando Show. Now, Team Android folks, you can listen to the show as part of the Commando community. Just head to community.commando.com. Once again, that's community.commando.com.